All right, good to see you all. I'm so glad that uh, everyone's able to stick around for this last day. It's been a great conference. I'm uh, so happy to see all of you and all this uh, great mathematics and magic and so forth. Um, I want to talk about um, this illusion. Um, so behind the title here is this photograph. And just to let you know what you should be seeing here, um, this is a mirror. And in front of the mirror is this circle. It's hanging from the ceiling. Um, you can see the camera in the reflection there. And reflected in the mirror is a square. So you see this thing hanging. It's a circle. And the reflection is a square. So I first saw this. I don't even know when. It was circulating around social media. And actually, probably most people saw it in this video here, which hopefully, can I play this? So it's playing. OK, so here's a video of this shape that if you look at it from one direction, it's a circle. And from another direction, it's a square. Um, and so I wanted to sort of figure out what the math was behind this uh, and see if I could make one myself. Um, so at some point, I reached out to, oh, I should mention um, that this was from an artist collective called Troika. Um, and the photo in the upper left was from a, an exhibit in Mexico City in 2013. Um, so I reached out to them at one point because I would like, wanted permission to use this photograph. Uh, and they wrote back and talked about um, what their inspiration was. And they said that they were inspired by Flatland um, and in particular, observing a spherical deity as a circle. And one of the artists said, uh, we believe we are in the exact same situation. Our knowledge and disciplines are but lenses uh, which give us an incomplete understanding of the world around us. And yet, we, cho we chose choose to act based on these incomplete models, confusing them for reality. We believe the world is far stranger than we can imagine. Um, and so that was my goal, is to figure out uh, how to make these. And so I made uh, a bunch of different versions of this. Uh, and they're up here. And I can uh, show any of you who want to see them at the table. So here's some examples. Uh, this is a piece of paper sitting on a mirror. And I actually brought a mirror. Uh, and you can see the reflection of the square and the circle. Um, if you flip it over, um, it is going to be the other way around, so a circle and a square. Uh, I made some versions like this. So this is a uh, circular cone uh, where you look down inside and you see a square. This one is a square cone, I guess a pyramid. And if you look down inside, you see a circle. And um, the way I analyzed this, these could actually be any shapes you wanted them to be. Um, and so here is another example where you look down into a square um, cone and you see a triangle. So um, I have three and a half minutes left. Uh, I'll just give you a quick glimpse of what the math is behind them, the, the shape. So you would like one person to be able to see a square, the other person to see a circle. And the question is, what should be in the middle uh, so that this is accomplished? And if you think about it, um, if you're the eyeball on the left, what you would like to see is anything that goes around this square cone. Anything that goes around the square cone to that person will look like a square. And the person on the right, anything that's on that circular uh, cone is going to look like a circle to that person. And so we really want to find the curve of intersection between these two. And really, this is just, uh, these are just conic sections or arcs of conic sections planes slicing cones. So that's the, that's the math behind it, or the, that's the geometry of it. Um, and so in particular, let's say that person one wants to see some polar curve r equals f theta. Person two wants to see some polar curve uh, r equals g theta. Um, then uh, we can imagine it like this. This person maybe for a given theta, thinks uh, he is seeing that dot in the xz plane. This person thinks she is seeing this dot in the xz plane. And so where should the dot be? The dot should be exactly where those two um, lines cross each other. And then that will accomplish uh, what both people need. Um, and so together, um, if we are parameterizing this by theta, that's going to give us a parameterization of this curve uh, in terms of theta. Um, and so you can work out the details here. Uh, I'm not going to do it here. Uh, but if you do, uh, this is the, the equation for this curve. And in particular, uh, if you wanted to see a circle and a square, um, the uh, polar curve for the circle is just r equals 1. And I had to figure out how to parameterize a square. And it's this messy thing here. Um, I plugged it into GeoGebra and got this shape. and. Uh, I'm going to rotate this around. 
Uh, I will say this is not exactly perfect, um, only because your eyeball needs to be in the right spot and trying to get your eyeball, trying to get GeoGebra to know where your eyeball to be was, was not so easy, but I think the, the effect is pretty clear. Um, and so I made these uh, five templates here. Um, three of them, the yellow, green, and purple, those are the ones that you can roll up to, um, to get the cones. Um, the two red ones are, uh, you know, one of them is based on the circle where you can see the square, the other one's the square where you can see the circle, um, and those are gonna get wrapped up um, to give you these guys here. Um, I will add that there was more math um, that uh, beyond just knowing what these curves are, I had to figure out how to put them on the paper so that when you rolled them, uh, they did what they were supposed to do. The one on the left where it was a cone, that was the easier one. The one where it folds up as a square, that was the trickier one. So I will leave that uh, as homework for you guys. And so finally, I will say that this did uh, appear in Math Horizons. You can read about it there if you would like. Um, my exchange gift is um, uh, the templates for all five of these objects. And thank you, everyone. If you uh, want to follow me, probably the best way to do that would be on Twitter. So thank you, everyone. Thank you.